Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Mysteries from Beyond the Other Dominion. I'm your host, Dr. Franklin Rule, and today, oil-eating bacteria that could possibly solve the BP catastrophe, as well as garbage-eating worms. Now, roll tape! <laughs> Welcome back. Today, landfills around the country are reaching capacity, and nobody wants a new one built in his backyard. So what is the solution? Well, one imaginative man has come up with the red worm bin. This is a bin of red worms that you would keep in your kitchen, which will devour all sorts of garbage. Now, I admit, they're not pretty to look at, but they're quiet, clean, efficient, and they don't bite. And if you're a fisherman, after they've had their fill, you can attach them to your line, take them out on a boat, and possibly catch some fish with them. On another ecological front, oil spills represent major catastrophes for both man and animal alike. Researchers at Lockheed's Missile and Space Marine Systems Division have come up with a new method to help clean up oil spills using oil-eating microbes. This technique has been tried before unsuccessfully because the microbes need oxygen to survive and could not get through the liquid oil to breathe. Lockheed, however, with their new process called Pristine C, seems to have perfected the technique. Their process uses a combination of microbes, fertilizer, and clay. As you can see, once the microbes and the clay are applied, the clay causes the oil to curdle into cakes therefore allowing the microbes to get to the surface for oxygen. The caking also allows for much less dangerous and much simpler cleanups by turning the oil into a solid for easy removal. As far as drawbacks go, there don't seem to be any. After the oil is consumed, the microbes simply die and sink to the ocean bottom. In the future, I believe that DNA engineering will allow us to create not only microbes, that devour oil, but also those that will consume all types of waste, such as radioactive waste and medical waste. I think that science can help fight our ecological problems. Now, until next time, may the power of the cosmos and of the worms and bacteria be with you. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs>